here are the best Exilux settings for the newest version that just came out. Use the link in the description for 10% discount. So Exilux has been around for a very long time. In this video, I'm going to give you the best setting so that you can get the lowest ping possible. But before that, please consider liking the video and subscribing. Uh, it's free and you can always change your mind. Using Exilag and to get the best results, you have to have a good internet. And it mainly depends on where you live and how close you are to the servers. Anyways, download Exilag and install it. It's pretty simple to install. Sign up if you already haven't. Remember, they give you a three day trial. After that, you have to pay a subscription. And here are some extra settings inside the windows. Okay, so the first thing is to go change your DNS address, okay? So to do that, go down here, right click, and then open network and internet settings. Then you'll show up something like this. Then you click here, change adapter options. You click on that and then go where it says ethernet okay do not click on wi-fi because it is a red sign so you're currently connected with this one right click on it properties and then find where it says internet protocol version 4 double click on that and then don't mess on the first thing just mess on this one so here you're just gonna type 8888 and then tab and then 8844 okay just copy that click ok and then click OK and then here you can just refresh a little bit and then you're done for that uh, your internet might reset a bit but for me it didn't because you know, I don't know but yeah for if it resets for you it's fine okay okay ladies and gentlemen here we are inside Exilag the beautiful Exilag so first things first if you're new to Exilag you're not gonna see these two here okay so I'm I play mostly Fortnite with Exilag because other games they doesn't work so I use Fortnite so how do you find Fortnite you just go here and just type in literally Fortnite and then bang you can click on that and here's a little secret uh, you can use for Chrome browser uh, if you don't want to use like NordVPN or any other external browser you can use for Chrome but it has limited servers so yeah you won't find many servers on, on Chrome Okay, back to the business. First things first, find your game and then click on it. So, me personally, I use Manama. Okay, I use Manama because it's the best server, the best game region that gives me uh, the lowest ping possible. So for me, if I switch to Dubai, Dubai is currently unstable. Okay, Dubai is currently unstable. When it's stable, it gives me this ping. But the most stable one for me is Manama. So if you, for example, live in Asia, you will just go in the Asia region and then find a server here that gives you the lowest ping. Okay, so it's literally like that. But if you don't want that, you can just automatic selection and then all regions and this will happen. It will analyze all the routes again, trying to find the best route for for your game and where you live. As I said in the beginning, uh, the closer you are to the servers, the better internet you have, the, the, if you're using LAN, you're not using Wi-Fi, you're gonna have the best ping dudes. Like, trust me, Exilag is like the one that is currently working the best. Right, so here is a little secret that many of you don't know, okay? So let me go back to Manama. Okay, so whenever you make a change, for example, uh, let's go to advanced routes first. Uh, best settings to use here is 0 TCP and 4 UDP routes. Okay, if you want, you can use 2, but just never use an odd number. Okay, just use even numbers and then click on apply. But here is where the trick comes. Whenever you change something, okay, you first click on update, it's going to update your ping, and then you always have to optimize. People always forget this. You have to click on optimize so we can analyze the new routes. I'm not going to do that because it's going to take a long time and I just analyze my routes. And then after it analyzes, optimizes your routes, you click on apply routes. Bang. All right. Now let's go to tools. First things first is general. Enable exit lag on start, meaning that this button will always be on in case you forget to turn the, 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 the thing on. Um, enable high DPI scaling and this slider, you, of course, it has to be on high. And the, the most important thing is the protocol. Use this one, okay? I've run so many tests, you're welcome by the way, so many tests using all the protocols. The best one that works is this one. And then smart optimization. 
and then smart optimization enable ipv6 uh, and allow dual routes D just disable this one and this for the new update real-time optimization is grayed out because i i really don't know but it, it doesn't really matter anyways go to fps boost tab i only have disable core parking yep literally i only have that if you want you can enable this one uh, disable energy efficiency efficient ethernet and define a maximum processing priority for games as i'm recording i'm streaming i'm also doing some other stuff i do not have this enabled okay so then you have traffic shaper just ignore this diagnostics uh, new game request this one is very important otherwise uh, this one is very important because whenever you want to send uh, reports to let's say a support client on Exilag, you have to use this and yeah that's basically it and then on account you will find how many days you have remaining on your subscription uh, you have to blur this out because it contains my my things and yeah I, I literally have 20 days left and then whenever it's gone it's not going to work and yeah you just go and renew your subscription and now you are all set ladies and gentlemen uh, just click on this button run your game and you are good to go all right ladies and gentlemen here we are in the game many people in the past videos been saying to me that uh, you don't show proof you don't show anything so here we are i'm testing using uh fortnite you can test with any game that you want just make sure uh, if you're using fortnite go in settings and when you're in the settings uh make sure it's middle east okay if you choose any other server it's not going to work because we're using manama as our main server all right let's now hop into a creative game all right so as you can see dudes uh i am in a creative match my ping is currently 220 230 approximately but now let's turn on the beloved all right so now let's turn on the beloved exilag so as you can see now it's not turned on because this one is not on okay so click on fortnite as you can see it's manama 01 and my ping is 163 i can click on update it's going to remain on that side i don't need to optimize because i did not make any changes remember always optimize when you change your routes and let's apply our routes and turn on the bad boy you can see that the ping is going to instantly drop so in exilag it said 165 right let's see here it's going to drop to 165 70 180 is still analyzing okay it's still analyzing it's still analyzing 160 there we go ladies and gentlemen exilag never disappoints as i told you before exilag is the only game server that is working and yeah you can see the proof now you can do your shenanigans in the game